Welcome to this Dell Storage technical video. In this video, we will be discussing best practices for using Microsoft Multipath I.O., also known as MPIO, with Dell EMC SC Series storage arrays. Let's begin with an overview of Microsoft MPIO. Microsoft MPIO is a framework that allows administrators to configure load balancing and failover processes for fiber channel, iSCSI, and SAS connected storage devices. SE series storage arrays provide redundancy and failover with multiple controllers and RAID modes. However, servers still need a way to spread the I.O. load and handle internal failover from one path to the next. MPIO uses device-specific modules, or DSMs, to allow path configuration. Microsoft provides a built-in generic DSM, referred to as the MSDSM, for Windows Server 2008 R2 or newer. The MSDSM provides the MPIO functionality for Dell EMC storage customers. No additional software is needed to use MPIO with Dell SC series arrays. Without MPIO, Windows servers see multiple instances of the same disk device in Device Manager and in Disk Management. Notice that in the red rectangles that two devices are shown even though only one SC series volume is mapped to the server. With MPIO installed, Windows servers see a single instance of a multi-path disk device in Device Manager and in Disk Management. Notice in the red rectangles that only one disk device is now shown. MPIO is a feature of Windows Server not installed by default. MPIO can be installed using the Server Manager GUI or by using Windows PowerShell. In order for MPIO to function properly with SE series arrays, specific registry values need to be modified. Systems using iSCSI connections require additional registry values to be modified. The registry values to modify can be found in the appendix of the best practices guide. Values can be modified using regedit or using Windows PowerShell. Registry values should be modified before claiming SC series volumes. And lastly, registry changes require a reboot. Editing registry settings can be a tedious process and can cause system instability if entered incorrectly. To simplify this process, a PowerShell script that automatically modifies the proper registry values is provided in the appendix of the best practices guide. Copy and paste the script into the PowerShell ISE as shown in the example. Make sure to run the ISE as an administrator. After the script has been run, reboot the server. When creating a server object on the SE series, you must select the MPIO definition from the operating system dropdown in order to use all the paths available to the server. In this example, I am creating a new server named TSSRV304. The red rectangle shows where to select the MPIO operating system definition. If the MPIO operating system definition was selected when the server object was created, volumes will be mapped using all available paths to the server. The red rectangle shows that this volume is configured to use all available server ports. In order to use MPIO with SE series volumes, the volumes must be associated with the Microsoft DSM. To associate SE series volumes with the Microsoft DSM, perform the following steps. First, open the MPIO properties application from Control Panel. Click the Discover Multipaths tab. The Compellent Hardware ID should be shown. If using iSCSI connected volumes, make sure to check the box to add support for iSCSI devices. Select the Compellent Hardware listing and then click Add. At this point, the server will prompt to reboot. Reboot the server, and when the server is back online, reopen the MPIO application and control panel. Verify the Compellent Hardware ID is listed under the MPIO Devices tab. Failover only, round robin, and least queue depth are the only MPIO load balancing policies supported on Fiber Channel and iSCSI SC series volumes. Round robin is the default MPIO load balancing policy on Fiber Channel and iSCSI connected volumes. SAS connected volumes support the following MPIO load balancing policies round robin with subset, least queue depth, and weighted pass. Round robin with subset is the default MPIO load balancing policy on SAS connected volumes. The system-wide default MPIO load balancing policy can be changed using the PowerShell commandlet set MSDSM global default load balance policy or by using the MP claim command. The MPIO load balancing policy can also be set on individual volumes. To access the MPIO settings for an individual volume, open Disk Management. Right-click the disk and then select Properties. In the Disk Properties window, select the MPIO tab. From the drop-down, select the MPIO policy you wish to use. Microsoft releases updates to storage-specific files used by MPIO through hotfixes and roll-up updates. As a general best practice, Windows Server should be kept up to date with the latest updates. If that's not possible, the specific hotfixes listed in the appendix of the Best Practices Guide should be loaded on the server to prevent any issues with MPIO, timeouts, and failover. 
In some cases, prerequisite updates must be installed on the server before hotfixes can be installed. For detailed information about using Microsoft MPIO with SE Series Arrays, please refer to the Microsoft MPIO Best Practices Guide located at the address shown on the screen. That concludes this Dell Storage technical video. For more information and additional technical documents, please visit dell.com forward slash storage resources.